Hi and welcome to another Bitwig Basics episode. Today we're going to talk about MIDI editing and MPE, which stands for Multidimensional Polyphonic Expressions. Enough ramblings, let's go! Okay, so MIDI editing in Bitwig Studio. Here we have a little product that I put together. And if we have an instrument track and double click on our arrangement view, it will add a MIDI clip. The MIDI clip is uh, currently empty, but if we double click it, it will open this uh, piano roll view. But uh, it's only a part of the screen. If you want a more detailed editing view, we have to go to the edit view. And you can switch between arrangement and edit view by pressing shift and tab, which is a very handy shortcut if you want to switch views fast. So here we have this uh, full view of uh, our arrangement and it shows some MIDI notes. It's a little melody that I put together. We can take a listen. And in Bitwig you can zoom in and zoom out by holding the mouse above this uh, timeline at the top and dragging down or up and left and right to move to your particular part in the, in the track. Now you can also see all of the different MIDI clips. Here we have one clip, Polysynt 1, and another clip, and this third clip. And we can also name this differently if you want, like clip 1, and lead clip, or whatever. So that's our actual MIDI clips within Bitwig. And now if we zoom in a little bit and press one of these notes, we can actually also press this show note expression to show the velocities of all these different notes. And you can see if we have one, one note selected in the left side here in the info, info pane or info panel, we can hide it or show it with this uh, little button down here or press I on the keyboard which is the shortcut. Here you can see the actual MIDI information or MIDI data for those uh, notes or for that particular note that I have selected. So we have the start time, the length of, the, of this uh, specific note and we also have if it's muted or not. Uh, there's a quick little uh, shortcut that you can use to mute notes and that's Alt and A. You can also use that uh, on multiple notes. If you have selected multiple notes, press Alt and A to mute all these notes. Then you can see the specific MIDI channel for the notes, which is uh, defaulted at uh, 1. And we can see the key and the velocity. So if I press this A3, we can see it has velocity 69.7%. And we also have the release velocity and the gain panning, pitch, timber and pressure. So what if we select a bunch of notes like this? Well, then we get this little arrow at the right side of each of these uh, MIDI parameters. And uh, if we press this, it will show a little histogram. And here we can see the note spread, the velocity spread of these uh, notes that I have selected. And we can change the mean, which is the offset, if you will, for the notes, so we can move them upwards or downwards and we can also compress them by using this spread feature. If you decrease the spreading it will compress the notes or if we increase it it will expand them so we have a bigger distance between all these velocities. And then you have this uh, nice chaos feature which will uh, randomize the, the velocities which can be handy if you want to make your hi-hats uh, a little bit more uh, natural or organic sounding. So that's the, the information panel for the MIDI notes. Now in this uh, piano roll we also have the grid view or the grid panel. You can see it down here it's set to 16th notes at the moment and if we expand it we can depress the automatic, um, automatic grid which uh, will update automatically if you zoom in or out. And here I have set it now to 
eight notes and triol. So you can see these uh, three notes that I added here. And uh, you can see the divider of the beats with the light gray lines here. So if I update this to straight notes, you can see that these light gray lines will, will adjust accordingly. And now we also have a few buttons here. And the first one is for micro pitch expression editing. And this is the MPE editing for our notes. And um, for this uh, little melody, I have, uh, we can make a little, a little curvature here. So it's going to automate the note pitch from A2 up to A3. Let's uh, mute these uh, first notes. And that's the glide between the notes. And if we depress it, the lines for the glide will actually be visible, but you can't uh, edit them. If you want to edit it, you have to open up this note expression editing. And then of course we have the velocity, and then you also have automation. Show automation lane, so you can actually see the automation for this uh, track. At the same time while you're editing MIDI data. I can also press D to open up the device panel at the bottom here. And if you want to find a parameter, you can of course use this list. If you press it and go down to Polysynth, you can see this list of all the expressions and uh, parameters that are automatable for this uh, particular synth. But uh, a better way to really find uh, one of these parameters uh, more swiftly is actually to move a parameter on your synth. And you can see that this uh, little automation lane will update with this particular parameter. So if I go back, if I want to go back to the to the filter cutoff, I can just move the filter cutoff, and it will show the the filter cutoff instantly. So that's uh, very handy to find your uh, parameters uh, faster. Okay, so let's hide that device panel again and go back to our uh, to our uh, full piano roll view. You can also zoom in and zoom out on this uh, on this piano roll to see the note values. I, I think it's quite handy when you're doing uh, MIDI editing to actually see this uh, the names of the notes. And then in the piano roll, you also have the ability to follow the playhead, and you do that with this little button down here at the right side. So now, if we zoom into our view. It will update the window if the transport bar um, exceeds the right side of the, of the screen. You can see there that it moves the window. So that's the playhead follow. Now we also have another little view in the piano roll and that's the, the drum view or the drum editor view. And that only at the moment it shows the notes that are activated on this uh, MIDI event. So we only have these notes and you don't see any of the other notes except them. So that's uh, handy if you're doing uh, drum editing. Okay, so now let's talk about MPE editing with third party instruments in Bitwig. The Bitwig instruments are activated for MPE support directly, so you can do this uh, micro pitch. Uh, or pitch gliding automatically directly. But if we go to another synth, like say the Serum synth, and uh, for this uh, track I have a, a lead that comes with the Serum called Bottle Blower. And at the moment, if we look at the MIDI information, we have some glides going on, but uh, is it going to affect the sound? Let's listen. Well, nothing is happening, so I guess we don't have any MPE at the moment. To activate MPE for uh, third-party instruments, press the instrument on the track. And uh, now you can see in the info panel that we have use MPE, and it's currently not pressed, so let's activate it. And make sure that the pitch band range is set to the same value as within the synth. As you can see here, with the Serum, it's set to two semitones at the moment, so let's bump that to 24 semitones instead. 
as this is the same value we have set in Bitwig. Let's see how that works. So now we have the note pitching ability on Serum 2. Okay, so that's a little introduction to MIDI editing in the Bitwig Studio. Thanks for watching today and thanks to all the new subscribers to this channel. I really appreciate you joining in on this musical adventure. If you want to support this channel, you can either buy any of my sound packs. There's a link in the description to my sound packs. I also have a specific sound pack for Bitwig Studio, which is called the Bitwig Producer Essentials Pack Volume 1. Or you can uh, join in as a Patreon on my Patreon page. And as a Patreon, you get monthly tracks, you get uh, sound packs as soon as I send them out and you get access to my discord channel and you also get access to some of my product files okay so that's all for today thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye bye